Hey everyone, so this is going to be how we finish a concrete sidewalk, what we're going to do to put the finish on. And what we do when we finish concrete sidewalks is we always start out by magging the surface first and then we, we put our edger mark on it to roll the edge and get a nice rounded edge. So if you, had, if you didn't see how we poured these sidewalks, I'll have it pop up right here so you can go check out and see how we poured a concrete sidewalk for this. And then as far as the finishing process goes, this is the same finishing process we use whether we're doing a, like a broom finish concrete or a stamp concrete. So this finish on this concrete sidewalk is going to be a stamped finish. So we'll show you how we do that. But right now, what Darren and Luke are doing is they're getting the surface all magged out, making sure they fill in any little, any little uh, imperfections in the surface, bringing up some good cream and some paste on the surface magging out any bow float lines and then Luke Luke over there on the right he's got an edger in his hand and he's just putting the edger around the surface so this is part of the process this is probably about you know 45 minutes after we got done pouring the concrete here and it's in the sun as you can see so it's it's drying pretty good it's probably about 60 degrees out right now so we had to you know after we got done pouring we had to just hang out and wait for about 45 minutes for this to get firm enough for us to start the finishing process. So they're going to get it all magged out and get the edge on it and then we're going to be ready to start putting the stamps to it. This is just part of the, how the finishing process works. So, so they got it all magged out and this is the first step we do when we start stamping you know a concrete sidewalk, a concrete patio, a driveway pretty much anything we stamp is we gotta we gotta get the the release powder on there first and the release is used to help keep the stamps from sticking to the surface of the concrete and it also adds a secondary color so this concrete had a what's called an integral color that was mixed in with it we put it right in the concrete truck and that was called gull gray and now we're putting down a charcoal release color. So the release color will add a secondary color to the, to the finished product. Now what I'm doing is I'm setting that first stamp. And that first stamp is always the most important one. You gotta get it exactly where you want it because all the other stamps are gonna kinda lock into this. This is gonna be your guide. So I'm making sure I'm right parallel with the house. And then the next stamp, as you see, is gonna I'm gonna set it right in that little notch. These stamps only go one way. This is an ashlar slate pattern. So I'm gonna set it in that notch and the notch is always in the, in the same direction. Now, that first stamp, I mean, I could have turned that 90 degrees. I could have turned it 180 degrees. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter which way you start it, but when you do start it one way, all the stamps have to go that same way when you're using this pattern at least. You can see how those kind of lock right in together. And I've got these special shoes, these finishing shoes I'm, I'm wearing for stamping. So they just give me a little more surface area on my feet. So I'm, I'm less apt to leave like a, a footprint through the stamp. The stamps are pretty rigid. As you can see, they're about three quarters of an inch thick. They're pretty thick rubber. But, you know, when you get on the concrete, the concrete's still pretty soft. So you don't want to... You don't want to step on it too hard and put a heel mark right through it. So we, we use these special finishing shoes that we can step right into. They're nice and flat on the bottom. I'll have a link for those down in the description if you guys want to check them out. You know, we use them for stamping. We also use those same finishing shoes for when we power trowel concrete. They don't leave any type of tread mark on the surface of the concrete. So they're pretty handy. You can see Luke and I are just connecting the stamps together. The more stamps you have, the better. You know, if we had only had three or four stamps, it, it would have made this project a little bit more difficult. We got 11 of these, so I don't think we used all 11 of them on this walkway, but we used probably three quarters of them anyway. So the concrete's not hard enough. Sometimes we'll use a tamper to tamp the pattern in. It's just a, a metal... A square metal tamper it's about 10 inches by 10 inches and we'll just we'll tamp it in it's got a handle on it but right now the concrete's still soft enough so just the weight of my body on uh, the stamp will will put in a nice pattern I've got a little touch-up tool I call that a touch-up tool to touch up any joints and it's basically just a, 
a paint roller frame that I use to touch up the joints if I need to. As you can see we're just pulling up them stamps and just and then we're just setting them back down and working our way from one end of the concrete sidewalk to the other when we put this finish on it. And that's that's the basic process. The whole key to this is the timing. You know, knowing when to start. And you can find that out. I got a I got a stamp concrete course down in the description below where I teach you all the stuff about how to do this. Um, if you're thinking about learning how to do stamp concrete, adding it to your concrete business, or if you want to try to do a small stamp concrete pad on your own, that stamp course would be what you'd want to go by. You know, I'm gonna I teach you all the basics in there. So I, I got a little different angle here on the camera now. It was really windy today too. That you might not be able to see it so much in the video, but we were fighting the wind, which makes it a little difficult. So you can see I'm just using my weight to tamp that in there. I don't want to I don't want to push down too hard. I don't want to make a big divot in the concrete so you're going to create a puddle. But I just want I want to get good texture. And when I pull that up, when I pull that stamp up, I'm looking to see if I got good texture there or not. If I don't, then I'll just put it back down and I'll step on it some more. You can see Luke's kind of hanging out on the edge and doing the edges and I'm doing the walk. This walkway was four feet wide and it totaled about 35 feet long. So it wasn't a huge walkway, but it's it's the same basic process no matter what the length of the sidewalk you're doing. We're just going to pick them up, make sure they got good texture. You can kind of see the slate texture in the surface already. Set them back down and keep moving our, our way from one end to the other. Now we got another walkway out back. You can't see it yet, but you you know I'm going to show you at the end of the video that we're stamping, and that's going to be that's going to be the next video I, I put out. So you'll have to come back. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can come back and see this next stamp. It's a different stamp pattern. Um, it's one we really like a lot and one we use a lot. So. You know, if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. It really helps my videos rank better in YouTube. YouTube looks at that as an indicator that you guys like the video and they start showing it to more people. So the more you like, the, the better my videos show up on YouTube. I really appreciate that too. So that's the basic process is just set the stamp down. You know, you want to Put it straight down and then pick it straight up. You don't want to drag it across the surface at all once you get that powder on it. Get your get your pattern, get your texture into the surface. This one's got a pretty big groove on it actually, so you, you definitely don't want to get on the concrete too late. You'll really be pounding that surface hard to get that groove in there. Um, it's you know it's pretty soft to walk. I couldn't walk on the concrete right now without these stamps. If I did, it would be way too soft. So if that gives you a little bit of an indication of how soft it needs to be but if it's if it's way too soft then you're going to be leaving a bunch of divots in the concrete so we're finishing up this and you know after we get done we're going to have to wash these stamps up we we generally take a pressure washer and we wash the the release dust off the stamps we use some dawn dish detergent to wash them with but the process after this, after stamp day, is, you know, this is it for today. So we'll clean up the stamps and we'll head out. And then we come back the next day and we wash, we pressure wash the release powder off and get it nice and clean. We use Dawn dish detergent for that too and a scrub brush. And then we let it dry out for a day and then we put the sealer on. And that, that, all that's covered in that stamp course if you want to check that out. Uh, I teach you, how, teach you about how to do all that. So this is the last stamp for this front walkway and then I'm going to walk you out back and give you just a, a little brief a little brief showing of what the next video is going to be like and what we're doing out back here. So we, we did a big patio out back here um, and this yeah this is a little bit close up there what it looks like as we're going down the walkway. This guy so we did a, a pretty good sized patio out back and then he wanted to add these concrete sidewalks too before he does all his landscaping and his his puts his grass in so so here's the back sidewalk and you can see we got a different stamp here 
walkways a little bit longer and it leads up to that back patio.